I've only ever done one interview in my career where I wasn't asked about my gender. It was such a big topic because I was obviously one of the very few women competing. As a racing driver, broadcaster, public speaker and entrepreneur, little if anything phased Susie Wolf. But when she took a call from her good friend Gildo Pastor, asking if she'd like to join him in Formula E, she needed some convincing. I was one of the cynics. When it first started, I thought, electric racing cars in city centres, that's never going to work. Coming down into turn three for the lead of the race. How wrong was I? In 2018, Susie put pen to paper with Pastor's Monaco-based team, Rocket Venturi Racing. As well as investing in the project, she assumed the role of team principal. Initially, it was very tough because the team um, wasn't running at the front and there was a lot of work to do uh, to turn it around. But thankfully, there was great people here. There was a very strong core. A team needs to have the right energy and that's not just about hiring the best people and making sure you have the, the best package on track. It's about creating that sense of team, that sense of having the same goal. And now we're at a place where the team is obviously successful on track. We have a real camaraderie when we go racing and I call it my racing family. <laughs> what I love about working in sport is how pure it is. Every time we go racing, we have to perform. How many sponsors we have on the car, everything is gives you direct feedback. There's no questioning if you're doing a good job or not. The results sheet tells you, and if you have an empty car, you know you're not doing a good job. So I love the purity of the sport, and I've been in this sport for a long time, so I have a lot of passion for racing. I love the competitiveness. Now CEO, Susie is having an impact on and off the track and has transformed the makeup of Monaco's only motor racing team. Today, one in three employees at Venturi is female, and in a wider initiative back in 2016, she founded Dare to be Different, which has since united with Girls on Track, a project set up by the sports governing body, the FIA. I wanted to pass the baton on. I wanted to do, not only inspire the next generation, but pass on what I had learned, what I did well, what I did bad, what they shouldn't make the same mistakes. But also to try and make the sport as a whole more diverse. I think society's preconception was that motorsport is very much for boys and for men, and the reality is it's not. There's a lot of opportunity for talented women and girls, and it's just about trying to create that change, because if you leave it with nobody doing anything, with no action, it's going to take a very long time, whereas um, with, with action in place, and that's what Dare to be Different wanted to do, inspire the next generation, get young girls to karting tracks, not just for becoming racing drivers, but to really open up the whole ecosystem. So I really think we are making a difference, which was the, the plan initially. And inclusion doesn't stop there. When Eduardo Mortara won the second race at the Diria Ypri in January 2022, the Progress Pride flag was proudly emblazoned on the halo of his car. The Venturi team was the only one to make that statement in Saudi Arabia. I'm a great believer in standing up for what you believe in um, and obviously putting the, the pride flag on the car was something that we felt strongly about as a team and it was for us a natural a decision. It obviously got a lot of attention um, but I think rightly so and I do think you've got to stand up for what you believe in and we have a platform um, that we are, we are able to do that.